Janelle here, the expert to follow to become genuinely happy, wildly successful, and a dynamic leader. This is Midweek Momentum. Do you ever wonder where your motivation goes to? I mean, you get it in your head and you're so motivated to go after that new health goal, new career goal, new relationship goals, whatever it is, there's that motivation there. And then you get into it and all of a sudden it just poof disappears. You're like, I got, I got nothing. I got no motivation to go after that anymore. What happens? Where does it go? I have a prediction. Let me help you understand motivation a little bit better. There are two ways to be motivated, either towards what you want or away from what you don't want. Let me break that down for you. If this is where you are now and this is where you want to go, you want to somehow get over here, right? So there's two ways to do that. You can either be motivated towards or away from. Towards is if I'm over here and I'm moving in this direction, I'm focusing on what that is gonna get for me. And all of the things that if I get that, what is it gonna bring into my life? So you're walking this way, facing this way. Option number two is that you're facing this way and walking away from what you don't want and focusing on that if I get away from that, I'm gonna get closer to that, yes, but more importantly, I wanna get away from what's over here. So you're pushing away from what you don't want. So you may be wondering, well, you're still moving in that direction, so what's the difference? The difference is whatever way you're facing, that's where your motivation comes from. So if you're facing this way and towards what you're going after and what you want, the closer you get towards what you want, the closer you are to what motivates you, which means the more motivated you're gonna get because you can taste it, you can feel it, you can see it, it's right there because you're getting closer and closer to it. However, if that's what motivates you, you're facing this direction and you're pushing away, I wanna get away from where I am now in the situation that I'm in now, you're getting further and further away from what motivates you, which means if that's your motivation and you get away from what's motivating you, down goes your motivation. Let me give you an example, very common one with weight loss. You're at your weight you are now and you wanna be 10 pounds lighter, 20 pounds lighter. Often people are facing towards this way and they're going, I don't wanna be fat. I don't want to look like this anymore. I'm sick of feeling this way. And they're pushing away from that. So they start to lose a little bit of weight, right? They're getting closer to their goal. They're getting further away from what motivates them. The motivation goes down. Get it? Now, what tends to happen is that if you're away from motivated and you're always focusing on what you want to get away from in life rather than what you want to move towards, what's going to happen is you're going to create inconsistent results. So it's not that this is a bad thing, but that it creates inconsistent results in your life because you're getting further away from what motivates you. So how many people have you heard that they lose a little bit of weight, they're, they're pushing away from being fat, from not looking like that anymore, they lose the motivation halfway, and then all of a sudden they climb their way back to where they were before, or maybe even heavier than they were before. And then the process starts again. They go, I don't wanna be fat, I don't wanna be fat, I don't wanna be fat and then they lose the motivation and then they make their way back, right? This happens all the time. What if you could just start to change your motivation? What if you could just start to focus on what you want in life and go after it? Rather than worrying about what you don't want, where are you going? Where are you heading? If you can change your motivation to be towards motivated, you're gonna be more consistent in your results. Let me give you another example so I'm sure you understand. Let's talk about finances for a minute, or career. This is where you are now, this is where you wanna go. Oftentimes, people are focusing on what they don't want, they're facing what they wanna get away from. I wanna get away from the debt, I wanna get away from the bill collectors, I wanna get away from penny pinching, and I'm sick of this lifestyle, and they're moving away from it. So they generate more money in their life, but again, they start to move away from what motivated them, so then the motivation drops. They start to climb their way back, more debt, 
more build, all of that, they're back to where they started and then they start the process all over again, pushing away from what they don't want. I wonder what would happen again if you just switched your motivation to focus on what you do want, what getting that goal is going to bring you. Because all of this will just take care of itself and will disappear when you choose to focus on what it is you do want and change your motivation to towards. Get focused towards what you want. What is it that that goal is going to bring you? Forget about what you're going to let go of. That's naturally going to happen. What is it that it's going to bring you, right? Travel opportunities, be able to vacation in remote areas with my family, quality time with my family. I'm going to have tons of energy, right? Whatever it is that you're going after, what is that going to bring you? If you get focused towards what you want, you're going to create consistent results and in turn, create exactly what you want for yourself. If you liked this, share it. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on October 6th, head on over to JanelleFraser.com so that you can sign up for my newsletter and get all of the updates and special deals that I only will put through in email. Make it a great day and go ahead and create those consistent results for yourself. You deserve it.